Hey, Brian, you want to help me finish off these candy canes I got last Christmas? Sure. Ow! What's wrong? Hmm, I think I might have a cavity. But I really hate going to the dentist. Well, maybe there's a natural way to fix a cavity? Let's see. Cavity, natural, remedies. Oh, here we go. Looks like you can heal a cavity by going on a strict string cheese diet. Really? This guy has before and after pictures. His kid's tooth healed right up. Man, dental science is such a scam. Well, I'd try it, but I'm kind of broke at the moment, and cheese is, like, really expensive. Well, we can see if there's a way to just pull it. I'll try anything once. Here, we found a video that looks like it might help. At least, it can't hurt to see what it has to say. Okay, let's give it a look. I don't know if that's going to help us. This movie made me not want to have any teeth at all. Or friends. And I'm really confused. Do I have dementia? You don't have dementia. I think we accidentally watched a sequel to a crappy tooth fairy horror movie put out by the same distribution company that puts out Jagged Edge production movies. Oh, that's why Nose Job Chick was in it. So we get a scene at the beginning where a kid is challenged through a text message to summon the demonic tooth fairy, as children often do. Everyone dies and we get a title in some 2003 era sci-fi channel font. It doesn't say Tooth Fairy 2, just Tooth Fairy, the root of evil which doesn't help us know that we're watching a sequel. A group of friends who apparently haven't even seen each other since high school are reuniting at an out-of-the-way British farmhouse. They've been apart so long, no one knows what anyone else is doing for a living. Let's run down the characters. So, we have British Blues Clues, who is insane. We have Chelsea Clinton and the aforementioned nose job from Dr. Carver. We also get to enjoy budget Andrew Tate and dollar store Simon Pegg. Don't forget random blonde chick and friend zone. Their plan for the weekend included drinking, poker, and lounging awkwardly on the bed. Or friend zone. Blue's Clue starts freaking out. Again. And having visions of pulling out his teeth and then passes out but it's okay because chelsea clinton is there to comfort him fake daddy tate has don't say it a book always a friggin book with incantations so they can have a seance and freak everybody out i guess his real plan was to kidnap blues clues and terrorize him because we found out he's apparently the main character in the first movie and andrew fake tate knew someone who died Fake Daddy Tate's cousin dresses up like the Tooth Fairy and scares Blue's Clues. But oh no! The real demonic Tooth Fairy shows up and starts killing everyone. The Tooth Fairy can create fake people decoys to lure someone from one location to another, which she does as she kills people. I guess she just wants to cause some confusion. It works. I'm very confused. Chelsea Clinton discovers a tree full of candy canes. She hangs them around her neck and the Tooth Fairy can't see her. <sighs> yep. They realize they have to summon another demon to come drag the Tooth Fairy back to hell. They win! We cut to a few months later and Chelsea Clinton and Blue's Clues are sleeping the afternoon away when Blue's Clues goes crazy and takes the trouble to 1. Find a corded drill, 2. Plug it in, and 3. Hide and wait in the bathtub for Chelsea. The end. We didn't mention the audio. The audio is... What's the word? It sucks. The audio sucks. I'm in a pain. Ow. Mm. This really hurts. Well, do you want me to pull it out? I don't know. Maybe I'll just break down and go to the... Roll credits! <laughs>